let's talk about graphing quadratics. Now the standard form of a quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. But there's another form that is the, called the vertex form that is actually quite a bit easier to work with. And that is a x minus h quantity squared plus k, where your vertex, you can read off, is h k. Now, suppose I have the equation y is 3, x minus 4 squared minus 2. What's the vertex? Well, y equals a x minus h squared plus k. When I line these up, I see that h is 4 and k is negative 2. So the vertex is 4, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's my vertex. What is the axis of symmetry? Well, the axis of symmetry is always x equals 4. What is the maximum or minimum value? Now, this is going to be an upward facing parabola. So it's going to go up like this. So I'm going to have a minimum at x equals 4, and the minimum value is negative 2. What is the domain? Well, the domain is always all x, and the range is a set of y such that y is going to be greater than or equal to negative 2. See how much easier that was to pull off with the vertex form? Now in this equation right here, um, I can read off the axis of symmetry. That, well, I prefer actually to start with reading off the vertex. The vertex is 5, 4. So the axis of symmetry is x equals 5. So let me plot this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, the axis of symmetry is x equals to 5. So I'm going to put that in. This is going to be an upward facing parabola. The maximum or minimum, we're going to have a minimum that value of 4 at x equals 4. The range is going to be y greater than or equal to 4. The domain is all reals. Now, I'm just going to do a quick sketch in here. To do this correctly, you should plot a few points. f is increasing. f is going to be increasing whenever x is greater than 5. So x is increasing for x greater than 5, and it's decreasing when x is less than 5. We don't talk about increasing and decreasing at a point. Now, what do you do if you have this one right here? Hmm, let's factor it to start with. Let's pull this 2 out. So this is x squared plus 4x plus 8. Whoops, plus 4. Messed that one up. 2 times x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now you remember from algebra 1, this is 2 times x plus 2 squared. So in this case, the axis of the vertex has a plus 0 out here. All right. So the vertex form is f of x is 2 times x plus 2 squared. Now, the vertex itself is at negative 2, 0. The axis of symmetry is x equal negative 2. The maximum or the minimum, this is going to be upward facing. So the minimum value is y equals 0. 
The range is y is greater than or equal to 0. The domain is all reals. And where is f increasing and decreasing? Well, when x is 1, this function, when x is 0, this function is 8. So I will get some serious symmetry going here. So that's 1, 2, 1, 2. So that, see the value of that symmetry line there? We'll practice some more of these in class. All right. f is increasing when x is greater than negative 2, and it's decreasing when x is less than negative 2.